Hi learners, welcome to Bravo Easy to Learn English School of Grammar. Now the topic we are going to touch today is adverbs. Now this is one part of the eight part of the speech that we have covered earlier on. So we just want to go a little bit more in depth of what is an adverb. The exercise we are going to see today is called adverb. It's one of the part of the eight parts of the speech of English grammar and um, the meaning of adverb I've got two meanings of it or two places where we can use the adverb. A word or phrase that modifies or qualifies another word. So it modifies or qualifies another word. It gives additional information to the verb. So adverb gives the additional information. So it just adds on a value to it to the verb that's used in the sentence. Another format of explanation. A word that expresses a relation to the mannerism of the person, the place, circumstances, time, etc. So adverbs are usually used to enhance these words. So let me give you some examples of the manner, place, circumstance, time, etc. With some uh, uh, sentences where you could see where, how it's been used. I think it's, it's more easier than me trying to explain it this way. So let's go to the examples. Okay, so we looked at uh, four examples of the adverbs. Manner, place, circumstances, time where it's used. Okay, so the first a couple of examples of the first one, which is manner. He writes legibly. So he writes so clearly, so, so beautifully presented. So he writes legibly. So that is the, the, the mannerism of the way he has written. He gently touched my shoulder. So he gently, so that's the mannerism or the manner that he touched my shoulder. And usually like more than 90% of it, the word legible will become legibly, gentle will become gently. So it, it finishes off, the adverbs usually finishes off with ly. I won't say always, but mostly. So the gent legible, he writes, you know, his, his writing is legible. So when you say he writes legibly, he touched me gentle. The touch was gentle. He gently touched my shoulder. So you can see it's like, you know, it's, it's the L-Y has been added on to the, to the word to give it the prominent meaning of uh, the manner that it has been used. The second example is place. There are several good hotels available in London. There is a big house in the corner of the street. Now here the adverb is there. So it's, it's not finishing with ly. I did say to you mostly it finishes with ly. Here it's not finishing with ly. But there is the adverb that's used prominently to say there are, there are several uh, good hotels available in London. There is a big house. So, you know, it's, it's saying the place. So here the place is the hotels. Here the place is the house. So there is being used here as the advert to say what is available there. So here the hotels are available. Here the house is available. So the place is being used with there as the adverb on this particular sentence. Okay, now the next example is circumstance. The building is not atmospherically designed. That means it has not been designed to consider the atmosphere around it. Very poorly designed. So where, wherever it is situated, the circumstances, wherever it is situated, the atmospherically, it's, it's wrongly designed. And as I said to you before, it's finishing up with ly. So most of the words finish up with ly in adverbs. Here the second example, Switzerland is always situationally very cold. It's a cold country. So the circumstance is always cold. It's mostly cold. They do have their summer but it's, it's like a few weeks. So Switzerland is always situationally very cold. So here the adverbs are atmospherically and situationally and again it's finishing with one of the examples that's finishing with ly. Okay, the last example we have is time. And uh, examples I have written on the board is, if it is not possible now, then do it next week. So the next week is your time scale. Then is your adverb. 
So then there it's one of ex exceptional adverbs. Mostly it finishes with ly. These are the words that doesn't finish with ly but it's a connection to say when to finish the task. So the time is that. Second example, if you want to borrow the money, then come today. Come today is your time. If you want to borrow the money, then come today. So it's more specifically saying then come today. Here if it is not possible now, then do it next week. So we, this is some of the examples of the adverbs that we have seen today. I hope uh, this exercise of advert, adverb uh, has become a useful thing for you today. And we've seen some, uh, four examples that were of the words uh, manner, place, circumstances and time with some uh, um, uh, sentences that we have seen how to use them. So thank you very much for watching Bravo Easy to Learn English School and I hope uh, that you have enjoyed learning this today. Thank you.